All right, folks. So this is going to be a little uh, tutorial, I guess, about a Chrysler Dodge Plymouth. Could be a van. Could be anything that uses a starter relay. Okay, the starter relay is really located on the inside fender, right next to the battery on any of the old 60s, 70s, sometimes 80s cars. All right, so I'm just going to go through it real quickly and show you what everything is. All right, basically you got your regular ground cable. Okay, attaches to the engine somewhere or to the chassis. Over here is your positive cable. Okay, your positive cable. One cable is going to go to the starter. And the other cable, which is the secondary cable, all right, which is this red one right here, that's going to go to this top terminal right here. Okay, and on that top terminal, there's going to be another red wire, this one here, and this is the one that goes inside to power your radio, your headlights, and everything else there. Okay. Now going down further, there's one right here. This little wire here comes up and around and it's attached to the battery cable because it goes to the starter solenoid. Right, this the solid solenoid. Now this brown wire over here, this brown wire over here is the one that goes to your neutral safety switch. Okay, your neutral safety switch in your transmission, it allows um, a negative ground to show that the car is in park or neutral. If you do not have a negative ground there, it will not start, it will not uh, work the relay. This yellow wire here, this yellow wire is your ignition wire. Okay, that is when you turn the key. When you turn the key, this gets power. When this gets power, then it sees the ground, it's gonna make this connection, which is from the positive to the solenoid, and it's gonna crank. Okay, so this is for a car that when you're checking to find out why it does not crank. Okay, every body gets mixed up between, hey, my car doesn't start, my car doesn't start. It doesn't start because it doesn't crank, or it doesn't start because it cranks, and it don't start because of ignition or fuel. Okay, this is a dead car, totally does not crank, don't do nothing. Okay, so I'm going to go over it. I just showed you the quick picture over here. I'm going to show you from the top view. There's your battery. Okay, there's your battery. There's your positive cable. Okay, positive cable. It's got two wires attached to it and another wire for the starless solenoid. The wire goes over here. The big one is your battery cable. This one is your solenoid cable. Okay, you got that? And then there's the secondary power wire that comes off and goes to the starter relay. So, what we're gonna do here now, I'm gonna take a little test light here. Ground to positive, okay? So we know the battery is good, we got a connection. And we're gonna go to the starter. On this starter, you should have power, okay? You have power because it's going straight from the battery straight to there, okay? Now the solenoid wire, which comes from over here, Okay, you're not going to have any power there until the relay connects. Okay, so you're not going to get anything there until it connects. Now, by looking at this relay over here, okay, remember what I told you, the top one where the battery cable goes to, it's going to be hot all the time. That's that stud. Okay, that's hot. That is the stud right there. Okay, that's going to be hot because that's where the battery cable attaches to. So if that's hot, that means this one here is hot. Because that's the one that goes inside. All right, now going down now, I wanna show you something. Remember I told you about the neutral safety switch? The neutral safety wire? It's this brown wire here. Okay, this brown wire here has to see a negative. It's gotta see a ground, okay? When it's in park, or neutral, it's going to have a ground. So on the, you want to check this. What we're going to do is we're going to take the test light. I'm going to put it on the positive side. Okay, and want to look for a ground. Take a test light just to make sure, and it's lit. So what we we'll do is we're going to poke it in there, and we're going to look to see and find a ground. Okay, it should be a ground when we poke it. Okay, try to do this with one hand here. 
So let me get it from back here. All right, let's see here. This should be a ground. The car is in park. I'm going to stab it in here. There you go. Okay, so we know that it's in park or it's in neutral and we have a good ground. So we got a positive there and we got a ground here. The relay is almost ready to go. So what else do we need? We need a signal coming from the ignition switch to say I'm ready to crank. And where do you think that is coming from? It's gonna be this yellow wire. This yellow wire is the one that comes from the ignition inside when you go to crank the engine, okay? So this is gonna turn positive when you crank and turn the key. All right, so I wanna leave this off here. I wanna make a little fugazi uh, tap wire over here so I can go inside and turn the key and I'm gonna show you. Hang on. All right, so here's my little fugazi uh, setup here. The yellow wire that goes in through the firewall to the ignition switch. What I did was I hooked up a test light from the ground, fugazi wire to my test light, a little fugazi uh, connected there. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna turn the ignition on, we're gonna crank it, and we're gonna see that thing light up. So let's go inside and let's take a look. All right, there's a 69 dot, 42,000 miles. 41,000 of course. All right, the key is on the dashboard over here. We're gonna turn it. I wanna watch this little key here and watch. That's the first notch, second, see? That's the crank. See it? That's off, put it back on, crank, see it? So once it sees the crank, the power from the inside is going to turn on that relay. It's going to find its ground. The relay is going to connect. It's going to send power from the top terminal to the solenoid and set off the starter and it's going to crank. All right, so that's the way that works. All right, I'm going to disconnect this gazy over here. Put this little sucker back on where it belongs. Okay, it's all connected. It's not start a fire. Take that off. Okay, like I said, yellow is the ignition from the inside. Okay, the brown is the ground for the neutral safety switch. The red stud right there is your power wire. It goes from the cable. The secondary thinner red wire is the one that goes inside to the body. All right, so with everything all connected. I'm gonna give it a quick little crank just to show you that it works. Let's go reach in here. Give it a little crank. See? All right. So that's how we. Uh, Chrysler starter relay works. So if you ever get stuck on the road, get stuck at a car show and you wonder why it doesn't crank, check for those things. Yeah, bring a test light. I got stuck once and I didn't have a test light, didn't know what the hell to do. But uh, one of the problems was, it was the uh, neutral safety switch. It was actually, uh, this wire was broken in the connector. So even though you unplug it, the connector looks good. The wire that gets soldered to the terminal itself, that itself can't play havoc on you. Alright, so that's it. Enough for this one. What's up, boys and girls?